All right, so I'm going to be kind of smoothing out a little bit of these rough edges that's, uh, that's around in the intake. Uh, again, I don't know how, how much I'm going to do with this. Um, and if you guys do that, do it at your own risk. I kind of went over it in another video, but there's a ridge there. There's a little bit of a ridge here. And you can see the couple of the casting marks are just not, not as nice as they could be. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to try to basi basically just smooth out what's what's already there. I'm just going to knock the, the sharp edges off. Um, and and I, I was going to do like a knife blade effect on this. Um, not real, real sharp, but you know, just uh, just kind of a, a little bit of a knife blade. But I think all I'm going to do is just knock off the sharp edges. There's a little bit of a, a lip right here but um, and then do a couple and then once I do that part I'll flip it over and uh, put the put the gasket on there and I think where this would help more is actually on the head than than the intake because it's basically going from here pushing out here and then going into the to the head but uh, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll do it on the head or not. Um, depends how brave I get, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, alright, well, let's get after it then. So again, I'm just going to just knock off these edges. And this is a, a carbide tip, burr tip. Uh, really sharp. It takes off really fast. You could do the same thing with a with the file. So I went a little bit too deep right there, but I'll just uh, lighten it up and blend it, and blend it back in. Set here. It's supposed to be diamond diamond blades or whatever. Yeah. I think these will work pretty good. Let me get kind of this uh, this dome one. See how well that works. I don't know if you can see on the sides here, but it's pretty... It's not very smooth.
I'll get back with you. I, I, I need to really stick my head down in there so I can see what I'm doing. So uh, I'll get back with you. Alright, so got lots of little sparklies. And I found probably one of the best things. That's one of those little little bitty flap wheel. This is a, I guess a eddy grit. But uh, it seemed to do a pretty good job. And I haven't cleaned it out or nothing. But just smoothed out a lot of this. Um, it had the texture of, of the outside. But um, and you can tell by sound. But all I'm doing is just knocking off the big rough edges and I still need to, to clean everything out inside there. So uh, next I'm going to try to clean inside of there that uh, this wheel, this wheel's too big to, to fit in there very well. So I might, uh, I might find something else in my stack of goodies, which Yep, starting to run out of stuff. <laughs> so I got that one. I have a couple of these. Let's see what's in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And the last one I have is this one. I don't think I got anything in here like that. New. All right. Well. Uh, yeah, see, that right there is a big flaw. <laughs> so I'll definitely make sure I knock that off and try and get down in here. And again, these are the water jackets. It's not going to, this isn't going to do any kind of increased horsepower by cleaning this out. But since I'm doing this, and it's going to be a while since I put this on the car, I might as well, might as well do it. I'm kind of just playing until uh, boys get out of school, which she'll get out here in about. 30 minutes or so so I probably won't be able to get get done doing all that I want to anyway so all right I'll get back with you